Um, so, can we see why the maze is closed? They, they, they didn't tell us. Ooh. Yeah, I, I saw. I actually have, I have no idea. I don't either. Maybe they're maybe they're finally letting me in, bro. That's what I had to say. Maybe they're switching up. Maybe they're giving me the points. Imagine. Wouldn't that be hype? That'd be hype. YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Buddha back in the building for another last cloudy and news and information video. Should be a pretty quick one, but I wanted to go over this. Uh, unexpected maintenance notice that we got today and could imply that we're going to be seeing some new rankers in the upcoming time trials, potentially Maze of Tartarus rankings. You can see the title of this notice is Changes to Criteria for Exclusion from Rankings. So I just wanted to go over and read this with you guys, give you my thoughts, and then see what you all think in the comments below. So thank you for playing Last Cloudia. From September 22nd, 2022, post-maintenance, some changes will be made to the criteria for exclusion from rankings. To give you all some history in case you just started playing, there was a subset of players way before your boy Buddha started playing, way before we had a Steam client, that were essentially shadow banned. What is shadow banning? It meant that they could not rank in any future time trials or things that had a ranking system. Aside from Arena, for some reason, they were never excluded from Arena as far as I know. However, the reason that they were banned was because they were using emulators back in the day. So things like Bluestacks, things like LD Player, you obviously weren't supposed to be able to play this game on PC. These people found a way to do it. Now, I don't know if macroing is what triggered the initial shadow ban, but to my knowledge, it was just accounts that were flagged as attached to an emulator. Regardless if you were setting hotkeys or macroing, your account would get shadow banned just because of that connection. However, moving forward as the game evolved and changed, they stopped enforcing this reason for people to get shadow banned. So for, my, like, for myself, before the Steam client exists, I did connect my account to an emulator and I was playing uh, legitimately, but my account never got flagged and many other accounts never got flagged moving forward. Obviously now we have the Steam client, we have the auto run feature, so things have changed in a way that wasn't punishing players for the reason this subset of players got shadow banned in the first place. And then to this day, they have never been freed from this blanket of shadow banned, which just created this friction in the community because all these players that were not getting uh, punished in the future were doing the same things that this old set of players were seemingly permanently punished for at least until we got this maintenance notice. So let's look at the details of change. Until this point, players who have participated in certain types of cheating activity have been permanently banned from rankings. However, with this change, those players will now be able to return to rankings if such activity is no longer detected for a long period of time. Of course, they don't specify how long that actually means. Details of specific actions as well as the period for return cannot be described for security reasons, they tell us. Note that individual queries regarding these topics cannot be answered. This change only includes some of the actions that may have caused a permanent ban. It does not mean that all players who have been banned will be able to return to rankings. If any cheating activity is confirmed after returning to the rankings, you may be subject to strict punishment, such as being banned from the rankings again. So they're just, I mean, it's just kind of comical that there, it's, there's no step up in the punishment. It's just you get the same treatment. This change is not a relaxation of our hard stance against cheating. Please check the details below. I like that this is just a different way to say this. This decision has been made as a result of investigating the actions of certain players for a long period after they were banned and determining that during this time, these players have not acted in ways which would negatively affect the fairness of rankings. Please note that this is not a softening in our response to cheating or unfair activities, but a careful decision made after reviewing the current state of the game. No changes will be made to our policy of severely punishing those who have been determined to be cheating or performing actions that compromise the fairness of gameplay. 
Similarly, any other forms of harassment towards other players, such as creating inappropriate player names, may result in severe penalties or even suspension of your account. If you observe any players who are cheating or behaving inappropriately, please feel free to contact support to report this behavior. Individual details regarding punishment and or results of an investigation will not be provided. User discretion is advised. And finally, response to cheating. The management team considers confirmation of cheating within the game to be a very serious issue. We sincerely apologize for the time it has taken us to respond and any inconvenience this has caused. We are working hard to ensure that the fairness and player enjoyment of the game is not compromised, so we ask that all players please review and comply with the terms and conditions before playing the game in order to help keep the Last Cloudy community a fun place to be for everyone. Thank you for your continued support, the Last Cloudy management team. So what does this mean? Well, I think to myself and many, many, many of you guys watching that follow this channel, this could potentially mean that tweaks will take a top spot in the rankings officially once again he's been getting the best scores for i don't even know how many time trials up until now but it never counted you never saw him in the rankings because he was part of the group that was shadow banned back then for using a an emulator back in the day before it was officially like allowed quote unquote and if that's the case, I think myself and many of others have been asking for this for a while to have some sort of review for users that violated this short-term rule that was then alleviated so then future players didn't get punished for it, but then left all these other shadow band players in the dust to never have any hope. But here is the notification. This is going to be their shining light. I'm very, very happy. If that is the case, of course, it's very vague. There's not any details. It still says, like, if you're caught cheating, it's not going to include all players that have cheated in the past and they caught them and now they're, they're, they're banned. It's not. So we don't know exactly until the next time trial rolls around, until they bring Maze of Tartarus back, what that's going to look like. Maze of Tartarus has been shut down for a while. And I think Tweaks' guest during the Power Creep podcast was pretty spot on. It was probably while they were working on whatever this change looks like. So we are getting maintenance in two days on the 15th. That's going to bring the part two stuff of the DMC collab with Young Nero, as well as this change to exclusion from rankings. So let's say fingers crossed for all of those that have been in the shadows in the dark for this long and I'm excited to see some of the real top dogs reclaim their place in the rankings once again. So I'm waiting, holding my breath, because we don't know exactly who's going to be impacted by this, who's going to be affected by this. But just wanted to give you guys my first initial thoughts after reading this. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Always interested to hear what the community's thinking. The biggest thank you to the Buddha fam that is still growing. You guys are smashing that join button. $2 a month, keeping your boy Buddha off the streets. Lady Buddha loves me again. It's an incredible thing. So just keep on running it up for your boy Buddha. I can't thank you enough. Like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss important information. Don't let the algorithm tell you when to watch my videos. And with all that being said, y'all know what we say. Work hard, play hard. See you in the next one.